Okay, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection. Technology gain times two, three, and now five. I'm showing off a test uh, sample of the screen paint we are working on. This is our Illuminous Superior Ambient Light Rejection Cinema Screen Paint. These are screens that actually, actually screen paint that has the ability to produce images outside at nine and 10 o'clock in the morning with ease. Now, uh, keep in mind, this technology is still in research and development. We're still doing some testing on it. But like I said, this is at 20% done. Now, something I wanted to point out. If someone's doing demonstrations, like I said, in the dark with a 4K projector, keep in mind, any screen is going to look amazing in the dark. It's going to look amazing in the dark. You add 4K to that, the screen's going to look very, very good. Now, the hard thing is to get a screen to be to produce an image in a fully lit environment. Keep in mind, back in the day when projectors were actually designed strictly for dedicated movie theater, actually meant dedicated um, home theater setups, you know, the environment was going to be dark regardless. Now, more and more people are setting these up in their homes. They want to screen in their living room. They want to screen in their dining room. They want to screen in their rec room. They want to screen in their bar, their business. So it's important to have a screen that's going to be able to have ambient light rejection technology to be to produce these images in a well-lit environment. Now, the two things our screens have, actually our screens have many, many, many um, different uh, um, um, upgrades that are better than anything out on the market. Our screens can be used on low entry level projectors, which means you don't have to have 4K, you don't have to have 1080p. Yes, it'll work with those projectors, but if it's not in your budget to have these projectors, you don't have to worry about it. My projector here is an old NEC projector, manufactured by 2009 or 2012, but it's pretty old. Doesn't even have, probably 2009, because it doesn't even have an HDMI port in the back of it. I had to get a converter piece to allow me to plug an HDMI signal to the back of a VGA. That's how old the projector is. It is 720p XGA, not WXGA, XGA. Sitting back around nine feet back from my screen. And as you can see, the picture quality looks amazing. And that's why I said one of the biggest red flags I've seen a lot of demonstrations, and one of them I've seen a lot of demonstrations, if you're showing off a customer's screen and saying, hey, look, look how well the, lit the environment is, but then you turn around and your next demonstration's in the dark, that's a huge red flag. Because the screen is not ambient light projection. And like I said, ambient light projection is the only way to go when it comes to screen paint and projection screens. You do not want to be sitting in your living room in the dark. Now, I've done this demonstration on a 146 inch screen I have upstairs. I've done that with condensed lighting in contact with the screen, a window right next to it, projector sitting back 14 feet, eight inches, and I can have all the lights on that environment and that screen will look amazing. Showed you a demonstration of my customers, some of my customers using screens outside. I think the one customer was using a screen on an ultra short though projector of 2200 lumens outside on his deck. Put the links at the bottom. If you want to check out that video, you can see those demonstrations for yourself. Look at it. Look how beautiful this looks. Now, this is the new technology we're working on now at 20% done. Able to match a Elite Dark Star 9 that has a 0.9 gain. Look at the angle gain on this. And that's the whole object to design technology that looks so a projection screen where you don't have to calibrate your projector. You don't have to spend the money for 4K. You don't have to spend the money for not even for 1080p. You can, go on, you can go on Amazon, you can go on eBay and buy yourself an outdated projector and get this from it. You can use it in a fully lit environment and you don't have to worry about your screen washing out or fading. You can use it outside, fully weatherproof, coat it on anything you want. I got some people out there say, hey, we're saving you hundreds. We save you thousands. Do you have any idea how much that particular screen costs for that Elite Dark Star 9? That screen for 100 inches is around $3,138. Well, they say three grand, round it off to $3,000. If we sold our technology, this particular technology, at $500 a quart, you would still come ahead over $3,000. 
and consider the fact, I guarantee you when any of these big companies, not to put anybody down, when any of these big companies are doing demonstrations on their technology or their screens, I guarantee you they're not using my projector. I guarantee you it's 1080p or 4K. It's some kind of high quality 1080p or 4K. I guarantee you. Let me know anytime you've seen a demonstration out there where somebody was using a 720p projector from a big company. DMP Supernova, any of them. Look at this. this look how amazing that looks. That's at 20% done. All the lights on. Any angle I choose, I can move around and that screen's gonna pull up at any angle. No matter where I go. I'm not gonna be sitting in the dark. You're always working on something. I've got ideas on technology that I haven't even begun to even show you that we're working on. Things we got plans for years in advance. Now behind it is the gamer screen paint. A lot of people thought the gamer paint was black. It's not black. It's a very odd color. It's not black. It's kind of like a kind of purplish kind of color, but it's not black. Looking at it next to the black screen, you can see it's not black. But if I were to pull that away, you would think the gamer screen is black. The gamer screen's not black. That's the color of a gamer screen. And the contrast on this projector is ugh. It's an older projector. see this up close how beautiful this is going to look done. When this screen reaches 100%, it's going to blow your socks off. Trust me when I tell you this. All our demonstrations on this technology will be on 720p projectors only. Just to show you how powerful this screen is. We're not even going to put on a 1080p, not even on a 4K. All 720p projectors only. And this is also to prove a point to a lot of these big companies out there that we don't need 4K. We don't need 1080p. Did this one. All 720p. I think I'm gonna order a couple more 720p projectors from uh, eBay. I'll do some unboxings and stuff like that.
and we'll do a light saw demonstration soon. Now next week I'm planning to build a much bigger screen. I'm going to do about a 100 inch which this is going to be a cakewalk for this technology. It doesn't make a difference. I mean my technology upstairs is like 14 feet back. You don't even need the lights out. Don't need 4K to make the screen look fantastic. Alright, again, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Bird from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain times 2, 3, and 5. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and God bless. We'll let this play a little bit longer. I love this stuff. I love this paint. Alright, I gotta do this one before I leave. I have to do this one. Call this what we have encoded in this technology is something called ultra color enhancement technology. Does it make a difference if you got the lights on? The colors on this screen are going to be outstanding. Like I said, for a 720p projector, that's it.
We're gonna get the eye candy on this technology. Hundred and ninety degree viewing angle from any angle you choose. It's gonna pull up. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed the demonstration.